Hello everyone, my name is Azaz Patel and you are watching Azaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 18 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with video. So guys, in last tutorial, we fixed some designing problems from here. So you can see that. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on this terms and condition page. Okay. So how can you do that? So simply just come back into the body left section. Just scroll down it. And here we set the index.php and question mark terms. Okay. We also uh, set that one from here by control C. Paste that one by control V. And set the get with the terms just because we are going to use here terms get okay just look at this now so also we are going to set the page with the terms okay so now uh, also we need to set the here control C control V terms okay so now click on control N select the PHP and set it uh, let's uh, copy this one from here by control c paste that one from here by control v control s to save and set the name with the terms dot php save that one from here close this uh, this one from here and here add new p and c okay So let's try to get that page when I click on this one. So just look at here. T and C are coming from here. We have all T and C. Okay. So just look at this now. Terms and condition are coming here. So um, uh, let's uh, come back into the our main website here it is terms and condition add a new terms and condition okay so just look at this now what we are going to do here just simply here term okay add get to add term okay and we need uh, one selection list here so we are going to use that selection uh, list from here with the option tag option tag close value first is none and say select uh, what we are done here just see that select term form yeah select term for that terms and condition for user or for the instructor okay so simply option tag again come back here value is uh, student and here also student okay as same way we are going to use one another option tag with the value teacher here also is teacher okay we need to set the name here with the name property name is uh, uh, what's the name is uh, perfect for that for whom yeah for whom so let's refresh this page from here see just look at this now select so for student teacher and then placeholder we need to change the place placeholder enter term okay add p and c okay so refresh that one from here so here just look at here at t and c so now what we are going to do when someone click on this one so we need to get that one from here so before we do that just simply let's take a view terms terms four okay so we have three text boxes here so terms 
and here for home okay for home the same like this one and also we need to set one another th tag for the updation and deletion so we set the action tag here view all cat to view all term okay go into the function.php and then what we are going to do here just the view all subcat yeah here it is just look at this now copy this one from here and then not from here at the end of the function page select cat after this one we are going to add that function from here view all subcat to view all term here select star from term select star from okay 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 not like that doesn't need that one from here directly set uh, we also doesn't need this while loop here this id is also doesn't need you need to directly execute the query we doesn't need that while loop here okay so let's start from term we doesn't need any where condition here so we will we need to remove that one from here okay so now the question is how can we get that we need a multiple uh, we need to all the okay 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 we need to set here while loop just because we need the multiple item and we need to end that while loop here and while okay and here we are going to set one i tag oh sorry i variable with the one value just because this is the increment one 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 by one one by one term and for home okay term id so we need to set t id and here also t id okay and here del underscore term and here edit underscore term and here also we need to change the page value with the <laughs> term yeah term just, we, just because we said the term get from there so we need, we need to use that get from here okay so now what we are going to do we are come back again from here and we need to create a one uh, table from inside our youtube learning here and we to set the name so one two and three yeah okay go so tid tom and then for whom as we define here or oh, not like that as we define here term for whom and tid okay so it will be integer it will be where care it will also be where care 10 or oh, not like that 10 then 100 and then 20 okay auto increment primary key save this file okay so uh, what we are going to do next so let's look at here we have this uh, this form here so we need to target that form so come back again where uh, is the subcat adding yeah here is it so we are going to copy this subcat okay my god copy this subcat function and go to the view terms and 
before view terms function we need to paste that one from here and we set that add term okay and here we need to change the name add term just because we set the name here just look at here add term term and for whom so here is term and here is for whom okay you just if you want to change this uh, variable name so you can also change the variable uh, name but uh, to saving our time we i am going to not use that one term where term equal to cat name if some somewhere the same name is appear or coming so 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 term is already added and we are going to redirect that user on the term page okay and if doesn't then insert it into the term term and then for home okay cat name what's the cat name yeah your term and cat id is for whom so all are set all are working very well so also i'm going to change it this one term added successfully and we need to redirect that user on the same page and if something is wrong then term not added successfully and also we need to redirect that user on the term page okay so now what we are going to do here just come back again here and set the uh, add term add cat to add term okay now let's try to refresh the page and check are working or not so i'm going to copy this one from here and add the condition for whom so this condition for teachers enter term okay instructor should uh, share 50 percent revenue with our website when i click on this one so just look at this now term edit successfully when i click on ok button so okay yeah okay 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 just because here are terms and we said the term okay so for that reason terms 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 okay so data terms are uh added very successfully but we get the message from here so 348 where is the 348 yeah here it is yeah row cat to row just because we doesn't need that row cat from there refresh that one again we have an error with the 348 yeah yeah, yeah. just because we said here row cat for that reason it just give us the error so now let's refresh this again so just look at this now now um, going to term and now we need to give the id uh sorry give the width of this so we are going to style width 90 percent okay so when i click on refresh button so just look at this now you can see that if I set it with the 98% and refresh that one, so just look at this now. Okay, we have some problem with this one, so we can fix that problem. So, how can you do that? So, simply come back here, action function, remove this TD from here, hit one enter from here, tab it, remove this TD from here also, and then set it from here okay so refresh that one so just look at this now now it's all are working very well so let's try to add one more information from here so come back again from here at tnc for whom so this is for the student uh, teachers paste it refresh it edit so just look at this now teacher and teacher let's try to add one for the student okay so paste it just look at this now just look at this okay oh oh, 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 oh. we make a mistake here come back again here 
delete that one so yeah yeah also we said the require set uh, require raid function from here if someone come with without and selecting any selection list so you can he can doesn't add that one so just look at this now select item on this list okay for the student when i click on add okay so just look at this now student is available from here okay so guys i think you know uh, this is enough for today in next tutorial we are going to use this edit and delete function from here so i think this is enough for today guys if you are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe the channel so we will meet you in next tutorials stay connected with me stay tuned goodbye